Hi guys. Wow. There's something there's something with the uh, the intro video that doesn't sit well with the stream. It keeps saying encoding overloaded when I've got that uh, that video up, but it seems to be running okay, so I, I don't really know what to what to say. Anyway, I hope uh, I hope you're all having a good day. It's uh, it's good to be back. I did have a good uh, good evening yesterday though. Had a um, had a drink with one of my old um, well, he's an old customer of mine at game, but um, we've sort of become friends over years, over the over the years, sorry. And it was um, it was sort of nice to sort of talk to him without having to worry about time, because uh, yeah, the, at the shop I was always getting in trouble for talking too much, so it was nice to have a bit more time to actually go in depth with our chats. But yeah, it was it was, uh, it was good. I didn't get too drunk either, which was good. Just nicely drunk, you know. Just a little bit. Uh, it also uh, fixed my sleeping pattern, which was good, because uh, drinking always makes me tired. So I was able to go to bed at like a normal time last night, like a like a normal human being would. Nah, who wants to be normal anyway? But no, it's it's quite a uh, it's quite good being able to get up at a, uh, a semi-regular time. I was up at about half nine today, uh, which is it's been quite unusual. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it was good. However, I'm, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to uh, playing some more uh, Valhalla. I think I fixed my... Um, I say fixed, it wasn't really busted to begin with. I think I've sorted the, the, the 60 frames um, stuff. Always had a bit of judder on it. And I think I figured out what was causing it, I hope. So when we play Dead Cells later, it probably won't, I think... Oh, now I'm getting encoding overloaded. Hopefully that's not the case. Yeah, um, when we play Dead Cells later, we'll be able to see if it's uh, any smoother. Uh, with any luck. Oh, I know why it might be. I've got recording on as well, don't need to record. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's fixed it. I'm unsure. You, you you can like tinker around with settings, and half the time it'll fix something, and then it'll break something else in the meantime. So I'm, I'm wondering if that might have happened, but we'll, we'll have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. Uh, what else did I have to say? Not a whole bunch, really. Um, I I ordered uh, Yakuza the other day, so that's that's already well. I'm hoping it turns up on time for next Tuesday. I'm trying a new um, a new online store. I bought it from a different online store than I usually do. So I need to uh, so I'm, I'm trying them out to see if they're any good at getting stuff here on on time. Because that will uh, seriously hamper my plans if, uh, if it doesn't. I'm also a bit worried that Valhalla is not going to be over in time. It seems to be taking quite a long time to finish. I mean, I'm enjoying it. But it's, it's taking a hell of a long time. I do think um, I've, I've probably fucked up the ending a little bit because, uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't have, uh, we didn't pay our rent, so I think we're going to get kicked out at the end of the month. I don't know how that's going to affect the story, but well, it hasn't given us a game over uh, yet, so I'm assuming it will just let us keep going for now. Right, I think that's probably enough talking. I don't really have a super amount of stuff to talk about today, so um, I think he's probably. Best just get into it. Get stuck in. Now, let's see. <coughs> oh yeah, it's New Year's, isn't it? So, uh, four is, uh, four being a cat is going to be scared of the, uh, of the fireworks and stuff. I think I read all of these before, didn't I? Before I left yesterday. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, the augmented eye is down for maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so this is uh, this should be the party then. Ellipses. Ellipses. Well, let's see. Gil is in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. 
They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Ellipses. Uh, are you alright? I'm scared. Hang on, did I? I, th I think I might have turned the uh, sound off, didn't I? Apologies. Let me just uh, sort that out. Uh, if I can press the right fucking button, that might be uh, might be good. I keep like going to change channel. I keep forgetting this is like this is a PC game, so I don't actually need to change the channel. There you go. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Gabby will show up at any minute. Relax, everything will be alright. I can assure you of that. Drink something, maybe that will cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you... I don't know, a hug. Does that work? A, a hug? A big one. A reward for after everything's said and done. Gotta go. You can do it. But, right. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this for all these years. Now it's time to face it head on. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. This is where Anna turns up. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Um, hello. Gabby. C come in. Excuse me. Welcome to Val. Uh, sorry, welcome to Val Hal. Hey, y you talk first. No, I. Well, some days ago I got a letter, and even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. A what? My sister sent you a letter. That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's read it. Alright then. Sorry. Just... just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? <sighs> this is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter. A fucking letter of all things. And she just says, sorry? Sorry for what? For our fight? For not talking all these years? Ugh, now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> I remembered all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labelled 1, 2 and 4 during Valentine's Day. <coughs> and you were pissed about the lack of a 3. All that, ti all that time when you left an unopened beer bottle on the table, she sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did it, and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me like the back of her hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that, I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? You told me she died from localised nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more... focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day. Her organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rent... Sorry, transplant rent... Why can't I talk today? To transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic uh, treatments were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently, she suffered that since she was 18 kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Hell if I know. I was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. 
Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing there, her left breast, wasn't a, a birthmark? And the rejection was what ended up killing her. The nanomachine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find out what made her so vulnerable. The doctor said she might have missed the shot, or the shots made her other defences grow weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure. Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Hey? I spent so much time hammering myself with what, what ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that very moment? What if I had apologised earlier? What if I had given a chance to the research institute, uh, research institute thing back then? And the amount just increased threefold after I lashed out at you the other day. But today, I realised something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive, you're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologise to her like I can apologise to you right now. Jill. Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's just resting after having that heart condition all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If she only... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we are to, uh, if we are to honour her, we'll do it together. Together? Lenore was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. I need to ask, though, did she really start to complain about chest pains shortly after I left? N no. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes way before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know. We both had things to apologise for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shouted at you either, so... Let's just call that all that water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So how did you find me exactly? Eh? Um... Well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? I have, yeah. Well, truth is that I visit it from time to time. And the other day I read a thread that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. <laughs> Are you mad? Well, she, they didn't say particularly nice things about her in that thread, so I would, uh, I would not blame her for being mad. <coughs> no, not mad. More like dumbfounded. Hey Jill, can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well, hmm. Back then I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right there and then. And then after graduating I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future, and she started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. But the thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her, but I don't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her, and that was partly because she was so pushy. 
even if she had the best intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained, it rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What would have stopped her once we'd gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking it was best for me, but what about my freedom, my say on the matter? So that's where you stopped loving Lenore? No. No, no. I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurt so much. But you have to understand. I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just out of routine, getting used to it. I wanted a break from everything for a while to put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself, think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I've sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So that's what led to you two fighting, huh? <laughs> you know, the word fight makes it sound like we exchange blows or something. It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Hey? I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her to the end, but instead I kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her off it was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself so much into her. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> we are quite the hotheads, you me and my sis. You were supposed to be the mature one, you know. Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us too? No, it's just that... Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? But my sister wouldn't have scolded you. But I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But I faced her back then and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. And in perspective, no matter what reason I come up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know. Not that it makes uh, things easier. I won't ever get to speak to her ever again, and it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear, you and my sis were meant for one another. You both moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. <sighs> and like I said, breaking myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss her so much, though. We were together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person. Huh? Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all the time. The same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So, let's have a toast in her honour, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A, a drink? Don't worry, trust me. Uh, let's make something to toast Gabby with. Uh, preferably something sweet. I can't... How old is she? So we probably shouldn't get anything alcoholic, should we? Sparkle Star might be, uh, might be a good one. Sweet, girly and happy. Um... Yeah, let's make a uh, let's make a sparkle star. We'll just make a non-alcoholic one. I don't, have to, I don't have to make two, do we? No. Grab this for a sec. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Ahem. Lenore, I know you're watching from the beyond right now, as I give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it. 
I can't apologise to you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey. Want to add anything? Um. I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me. Say it to her. That's a bit... Come on, just this once. I'll, I'll always miss you, sis. Sis. Sis, you idiot. Why did you keep that secret for so long? Idiot. Idiot. I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You idiotic idiot. <laughs> ah! Hey, Jill. Promise me you won't be like that knucklehead. You won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And and promise me we won't fight. I can't do that. Huh? You and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later we'll clash on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults, uh, adults we are. I'm not an adult. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. Hey, did you mean what you said? That you'll look after me? I'll always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenore, but... I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Jill. H hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so... About this drink... Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? We're with an adult. We might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. Right, I didn't put any alcohol in it. Now that I think back to it, didn't your sister give you beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. It was April Fool's. I should have known better than uh, when she offered me apple soda. I put bubblegum on the soles of all her shoes in retaliation. She walked funny, and my jaw hurt for the rest of the day. Yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Well... I did hide all the dildos in the house that night, only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. Oh my god, Jill! I know you're thinking it, but fucking hell! <laughs> oh my god, that, that's, a, that's a quote right there. <laughs> and as a follow-up, she used that same cucumber in a salad days later. Uh, she said, so do you like eating me for lunch? Chill? I'll tell you when you're older. Or never at all. Hey Gabby. Do your parents know you're here? They think I'm at Cl uh, Clarice. Clarice? Actually? Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Clarice knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. How would she cover for me otherwise? True. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Clarice doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. I live nearby and the streets aren't exactly safe at night. Why not stay with me tonight? Th are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough. At least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, did your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Sorry, just checking that the mic was still on. I was scared there for a second. I'd, I'd forgotten to unmute it. Yep, he opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand. I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Motor District. The guy saw an opportunity after realising Motor District has almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it. I fucking knew you were a lesbian. Mark one for daddy. I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his ever since my sister was 12 years old or so. 
Dad said Sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on who, uh, whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labelled Sweet Victory. <laughs> Your mum and Lenore never made up, did they? <sighs> I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. Mum was always obsessed with high society and, and in her circle of friends, a lesbian daughter was a no-no. I'm still on my sissy's side for that one though. Mum didn't reject her because she herself was homophobic. She did it because her friends were. To Mum, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? Dunno. Mum and Dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married, so there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore. Thanks to you. Huh? I thought there was going to be a party here. Alma, over here. Party? A small New Year's celebration. Want to stay for it? I... I don't want a kid to burden. Don't worry, you won't. You'll only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. It'll give us time to catch up even more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? Uh, if you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma, come here. There's someone I want to introduce you to. Ah. <clears throat> we get a really, really slow fade. <clears throat> oh, is that the end? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting it to end that early. Or has it? Does it end? Is this a bad ending? Well, I'm gonna leave the uh, I'll leave the credits to play out. Well, that's that's gonna be <laughs> fuck yeah, 20 minute 20 minute stream, great. No, I'll, I'll just um, I'll shift this over to um, to Dead Cells if uh, if this is the end. Michael Kelly, just wanna give you a special special shout out, dude. That was uh, some fucking amazing music. Really, really good. <clears throat> oh shit, I haven't got my uh haven't got my glasses uh cleaner. I'll just have to use my shirt. End up smudging them a bit, but I honestly didn't see that uh that coming, that ending. Still wanna see what um not paying the bill is gonna lead to. If it leads to anything. <clears throat> So apparently there's a, there's a couple of different endings, supposedly. <sighs> Made in Game Maker Studio. <clears throat> Man, these scan lines are kind of like fucking with my vision a bit. <laughs> Just uh, the pure white of the screen. I'd rather have them than not have them though, I think. <clears throat> Give it that kind of more of an old school look. Is that, how do you say that name? Uh, East Bride Games? I think I'm gonna have to get this soundtrack, it's so good. Did you have fun? I did have fun, yes. I don't know if you want me to click here or not. Yup, I also gotta meet a cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you though? Oh, okay. This is um, Jill and this is, um, what's it call it, talking? I've forgotten the little girl's name already. She's. That kind of person. Now let's sleep. You were dozing off back there. 
you're going to get a nice little uh, nice little shot of them sleeping in peace. You're right. Good night, Jill. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. Oh, that's a, that's a nice way of doing it. Music's making me all sad now. Oh God, oh, oh God, oh no. Looking at those uh, scan lines and then looking off to the side, my vision's like going fucking mental. <laughs> It's like when you look at one of those um, optical illusion things and then um, you close your eyes and that's all you can see. Um, I guess I have to press a button. Oh wait, okay, Wednesday, February 1st. You've just gone a month month forward. <clears throat> uh, to think that I'd be evicted. Oh, okay, so this is because I didn't pay the uh, the bills. They are pretty ruthless. They don't even allow you to skip one month. I was two months late already, actually. Ah, Jill, Jill. At least it wasn't because you spent too much money on useless stuff, right? Uh, actually it was. <laughs> right? About that. Forget it. I don't want to hear. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow you'll regroup and think what to do next. Y yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here by the... Whoa, your bed is huge. A queen size? Considering I lived with a guy for at least four years. You can get lonely, but also really comfortable. Just like single life, I guess. Hope you don't mind sleeping with me, but there's not enough space for the futon in here. I haven't slept in a mattress in... fuck, over two years now. That can be good for your back. And bad for my morale. Anyways, good night. Nighty night. That doesn't... that bed isn't that big. We've got an achievement, cosy hell. <laughs> it's hot in here. Having her hug me certainly doesn't help. I don't want to wake her up either. She looks so comfortable right now. <sighs> I wonder if Boss would have let me crash in her place. Oh well, let's try to sleep... Uh, just try to sleep a bit and... No, four. Go away. No, you piece of fur. Don't you dare sleep on my foot. Mmm. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's that's not a bad ending, really, is it? I could think of worse endings than that. Uh, here, you can now save heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen or bar will let you start over from day one while keeping your items and money. Okay. So new game plus then, basically. Yeah, exactly that. Ah, uh, what a good game. I liked that. I'm kind of a, bit, like, a little bit pissed off that it's... Uh, I, I was expecting to get like another couple of hours out of it. And in fact, I got about 20 minutes, if that. I could have just finished that off yesterday. Um, I don't know whether to do it. Oh, look. It got... Um, why have I forgotten her name already? She now appears on the title screen with uh, Jill. Oh, that was good. Uh, we've now got a little bit of a dilemma because um, I could just stop and then start up the stream again and do Dead Cells. I'm quite happy to do that. Or should I go for another... Should I go for another ending, maybe? I don't know. I'm quite intrigued to see, because, hang on, how many endings are there? Let me, uh, let me see if I can find out. Hang on. Let me just open up the, uh, browser here. God, it really doesn't like, um... <laughs> really doesn't like me opening a, a browser while the stream's open. Now, hello, how many endings... 
there's six endings. Okay, I'm going to try not to look at what they actually are. Right, so we got we got the bad ending. The good ending is paying the ten thousand dollar bill on time. Uh, okay, so there's a there's a Kiramiki ending, a Virgilio ending, a Dorothy ending, and an Alma ending. Um, okay. I feel like that's that's probably gonna. Thing is, like I, I've. If it's taken me like this long to get this far, I don't really want to um, uh, restart because of the, um, well, you know, next next Tuesday I want to start Yakuza uh, and I don't think I could get through it in two sessions. So I think what I'll probably do, just to get it, we'll get the, we'll get the good ending as well. Because um, the Kira, the, the four character endings, we're going to have to, um, we'd have to start quite, quite far back to do that. Yeah, I think that's probably best. So I think I can go back like. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't know if I can be bothered because I'm going to have to revoice stuff that I've already done. Okay, I'll tell you what. What we'll do. Let me just exit out of uh, out of this. Let's come out of that. Uh, let me find the uh, good ending on YouTube, and then we'll uh, we'll do it that way instead. Because otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to be re I'm going to be rereading parts of the game that I've already read, um, and that might be a bit tedious for you and me. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Val, Halla, good, oh no, not review, good ending, good ending, and actually we could look at, we could look at all the endings if you want, yeah, let's, let's, do, should we do all the endings, yeah, let's, let's do all the endings, shall we, just so we can see, I'm, I'm quite intrigued as well, because it's unlikely I'm going to go back and, uh, and play this anytime soon, or at least I'm not going to be play, playing it on the stream, so, uh, so yeah, spoilers for um, the end of the games, or the end of the game rather. Hang on, let me let me just drag that drag that back a little bit because I need to uh, put the volume up. Uh, I'll see if I can read it quick enough. This this guy's moving on pretty quickly though. Now, is that actually playing, or did I pause it? Oh, I paused it. This is good, really good. You have no idea how long I've wanted some curry. I remember I meant to eat some, but then I had to pay for some drinks I spilled on the floor. That screwed up my budget. It's the least I can do after being such an obnoxious client. Yeah, about that. Mind if I ask something, Mr. Timothy Mercury? So you know. It's a small city. Turns out two very grateful girls soon became regulars and both of them are related to you. So, what's your question, bartender? Call me Jill. Two questions, actually. The first one is, why did they brand you as a traitor because you killed the other guy? I don't know. It sounds weird considering the other guy assaulted two little girls. It was a cover-up. The guy was my superior. A high-ranking officer like him assaulting innocent civilians? That'd be unthinkable on paper, at least. On record, I hurt the girls and killed him before another unit subdued me. Then I escaped from their custody. In reality... That's all I need to know. Sorry for bringing that up. Didn't you have another question? Yeah, how did you build this restaurant so fast? It's a small city. Turns out two very grateful girls tracked me down to thank me. One of them was rich and the other noticed I smelled like curry. Heh, <laughs> those two are really nice girls, huh? They didn't deserve what that bastard did to them. Excuse me? Oh, speaking of the angels. Timmy, two special curries, please. Oh, hi, Jill. Right, hang on, let me just pause that for a minute. Right, so, interesting. The, um, 
was it Say and Stella were rescued by uh, the obnoxious uh, the obnoxious guy. Bit odd, isn't it? I'm finally back, and the first thing I see is the guy looking up ending. Some gamer he is. Yeah, Punchy, you know. <laughs> the, we, we just hit the end of the game, and I kind of don't want to uh, to go through the whole thing again. Well, it's more more accurate to say I don't really have the time to go back through it before uh, Yakuza comes out next week. So I've now got to figure out a game to do... Well, today I can just do Dead Cells. But I've got to figure out a game to do on Monday now that I can do in one stream. But hey, we'll work that out. How are you doing, man? You said you were you were moving. And you had... Uh, did you say there was a presentation you had or something? How did that go? It's good to see you again, though, dude. Yeah, it has been a little while. Oh, you had a... Sorry, convention. That was it. And you got a new job. What's uh, What's the new job? While uh, while you're doing that, we'll uh, we'll go on to the next ending. So that was the um, uh, that was the what do you call it ending? Uh, Vir Virgilio was it? Yeah. Uh, come on, you can do it. Oh god, I can't believe I'm actually here. The console will begin any second now. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I've never seen her so openly excited before. Don't talk too loud, or you'll startle her. It's always nice to see her so happy, she doesn't give a damn and lets herself go. You sure you don't mind me? Of course not. That way I won't be in the, uh, the only one with little clues to what's going on. Is it true that you've served this Kiramiki girl at the bar? As amazing as it sounds, really nice girl. Look a bit oblivious to the risk some people represent. How so? She doesn't mind stalkers and such. Oh. How's your wounds? I'm doing fine, eyes healing nicely, and I can sleep better at night. Just what transpired inside that bank? It's not important anymore. What's important is that Stella will get me a job after I heal. She will? She's real building a new armour set for me and wants me to be her bodyguard. I'd be paid for something I'd do anyways and I'll get to spend more time with her. That's nice. I'd like to spread out and help more people, but it's a nice start. You want to be a vigilante then? Maybe. Yeah, she's coming out. It's her. It's actually her. Look, it started. Are you here, Jill? This song is for you. What? <laughs> oh my god. I wish she'd like, let me, give me a bit of time to fucking read it. Oh, uh, dude. Samonto, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, uh, sub, dude. That's very kind of you. I hope your, uh, I hope your stream went well on Valhalla yesterday. I hope I haven't uh, spoiled any endings for you, by the way. Very kind, though, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, considering I only just went into your stream for, like, five or ten minutes. You are a gentleman, sir. And punchy as well. Uh, thanks for the bits, dude. I got a job as night security. I'll be starting Monday. Moved from... Uh, uh, wait, moved from uh, Middle of East Coast to Mass. Okay. I'm not really sure what that means, but... Oh, is it Middle of East Coast, sorry, to Mass? God, a night security job must be a bit of a... Must be a bit of a shock to the system, isn't it, in terms of, like, hours you're working? Oh, no North Carolina to Massachusetts. Okay. Sorry, Massachusetts. I always, uh, I always used to say Massachusetts. <laughs> I'm here to talk to my local fry... friend? Friend? Wait, you're my local friendly Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Samonto stream. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub, dude. That's really kind of you. I uh, I'm deeply, deeply in gratitude to you. But Punchy, I can't believe you're you're like. Hang on, how much? Oh, I see. I see what's happened. Yeah, sorry. The top bits thing's a bit weird. I need to change that at some point. I need picture the Spider Man. <laughs> Is it uh, J Jamer Jamerson or whatever his name was? I'm grateful for yesterday's. Oh no, it's my my pleasure, dude. Um, let's say I'm, I'm apologise that I uh, I can't speak Russian. Uh, <laughs> it always seems like it'd be quite a complicated um, language. But yeah, I hope. Uh, I I just want to say though, uh, I am going through the endings now. So um, just in case you haven't seen them. Um, 
you know, I am I am going to show you the endings right now because we just finished the game and I got a bad ending. So I figured we'd uh, we'd have a look at the uh, the other ones as well. So yeah, before I start, just tell me you're okay. Like, tell me you finished it, or at the very least, you're gonna, you know. I I don't like I said, I just don't want to spoil it for you. I had to get my top bits badge badge back. Someone stole it while I was gone. <laughs> yeah, you've got it, dude. I think uh, the the top bits thing at the top of the stream there is for uh, I think it's over the. I think it's like over the month or something. Because I think it's... Uh, I'm going to have to change it because it doesn't really make sense. Might... might. Uh, I was thinking of changing it to like a sub goal, maybe. Um, I was thinking of trying to like go for a goal of like 25 subs for the month, maybe. And then maybe shift that up. I don't know. I don't know if that's asking. You know, being a bit cheeky, though. Seems a lot of people do it, though. Uh, I like Russian, it sounds cool. What happens in the bad one? Yeah, we got... Spidey, we got evicted, and uh, we stayed around Ulmer's house, and uh, it ended with basically a, a shot of Jill and Ulmer in bed together. <laughs> uh, could change it to latest bits so it matches the rest of the banner. Yeah, I did have that originally. Um, I, I should do that, really, shouldn't I? I? I won't do it during the stream. I'll do it. I'll do it afterwards, but... I'm already pretty cheeky. I, I mean, what? I'm only asking for like people to join the Discord usually. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not asking for much else, am I? Ha, yeah, it's well, uh, Spidey. It's a. It's a bad ending. I don't think it could be considered a bad ending in the uh, in the greater scheme of things. Oh, the the cat ended up like sleeping on um, Jill's face as well, and she couldn't breathe. So I suppose that's that's partially bad as well, isn't it? Did you guys know? Yeah, did you guys know that Discord is uh, free to join? Did you know that? Did you know that? You can even look. You can even have a link. Look, there's there's the link to join it. <laughs> uh, that's what he, he wants you to think, Punchy. It's full of microtransactions. It's only full of microtransactions for you, uh, Spidey. I think it's it's free to everyone else. <laughs> Right, I'm going to play the next ending. Uh, hopefully I don't have to read so quickly for this one. I can't believe you actually made me do that sleepover thing. You didn't have to accept, you know. Shut up. I'm having a good time. See, even Gabby is having fun. Relax a bit. Yeah, whatever. You know, Alma, you remind me a bit of my sis. I do? How? You always manage to get a reaction from Jill. Sis always said that Jill acknowledging your presence is the best way to know she likes you. You're talking too much, Gabby. Ah, It's different with you, though. With my sis, Jill was more frustrated. Like this one time where she brought her a shirt that... You're talking too much, little girl. A shirt that what? That had a pic of a cucumber on it. Cucumber? Um, ow, just what are you doing with my hair? Sorry, it got stuck in one of my fingers. Seriously. So I'm a bit like Lil then. No, you just remind me of her a bit. Moreover, my sister wasn't as, um, as ass. What this girl is trying to say is that with your tits and ass, you could build a Lenore and a half out of the mass. <laughs> that just means there's enough to share with both of you. Share? You're talking too much, Alma. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, okay. There's that Twitch sub. What Twitch sub? <laughs> God. Oh man, yeah, that's a. Uh, I don't see how any. Well, that one wasn't a bad ending. That's just uh, what happens if you get Alma's drinks correct every time. I think uh, the previous one where you go to the uh, Kiramiki concert, apparently you have to buy the tea from the shop and then offer it to her or something. That Twitch sub. Uh, Spidey, don't don't say, don't speak like you know what's going on. <laughs> right, what have we got here? So yeah, the guy had a fancy about a woman castrating him. I tried for an hour to convince him it's a bad idea and I finally got him to him. We finally moved to the bedroom and it turns out the guy has a weird implant where his testicles should be. It's basically a removable bull sack. I suppose the guy really liked that fancy and made sure he could live it out properly. I once saw a guy at the hospital in the emergency room after having been castrated to fulfil a fantasy. I wonder if it's the same guy. 
I have enough problems with just one, you know. Just one what? Um, <laughs> with just listening to one of your anecdotes. You told me about the Neo Juno thing, and now this. Don't you have a more subdued story? Come on, Joe, you're an adult. You can take that much. Shut up. Well, last time I spoke with my mum, I asked her the story of her daughter. Turns out her name was Anna. Huh? And now you pretend it's a surprise. Quite you. She fought against nanomachine rejection for most of her life. She even lost a girlfriend she made in the hospital to that same sickness. Apparently, sometime after she got out of treatment, a truck hit her and killed her. But even then, she was amazing. She was? Yeah? Yeah, she kept up her studies while still in the hospital. She was a self-taught honor student. Not only that, but she also ranked among the top five candidates in at least three college admission exams. She also played the piano and guitar. Well, being confined to a room does that, I guess. I mean, fully able-bodied people can barely do half of that. But she practically accomplished all that by herself. And she also beat nanomachine rejection, a disease that only 2% of humans suffer and even less survive. It took a trucking truck to take her down. She was great. I think I'm sort of like her sister. <laughs> silly Becky. Honey, did you say something? Hmm? I did not. Weird, I swear I heard somebody call me Silly Becky. Come again? It's not uncommon for me to hear stuff from far away, and I think I've heard it nearby, but... You're the only one nearby that knows my real name, so it was weird. Oh well. As I was saying, the ballsack guy. <laughs> God. Dorothy has some stories in her, doesn't she? She really does. <clears throat> I have the power of Pepsi and Pepsi Max on my side. Pepsi and Spider-Man. <laughs> you guys are confusing me! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm really hungry. I've, I've eaten today, but I'm, I'm already hungry. As usual. So, I think, basically, because you had to read into that a little bit, it seems like Anna is a ghost comprised of the old nano machines that used to be in her body before she died. And that if they have a strong enough will, they can become visible to certain people or something. So, yeah, Jill can see Anna, but no one else. Although it seems like Anna, sorry, Dorothy can hear her, at least. What what quote are you trying to get? <laughs> I'm not going to disown you, Punchy. Don't worry, man. I'm not going to disown you. Right, this might be the good ending. Or it might be the bad first, actually. Oh no, no, this would be a good one. Uh, it's one of the good ones. I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to this city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. I really want to thank you, Chief, for this second chance you gave me. If we ever cross paths again, I... Yeah, well, even for like a week and a half or something, don't be so dramatic. But I... And you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths because I live there. The time you spend setting up and a useless farewell could be used asking me about the place like where the switches and valves are but I already know they're in that control panel you made but I like talking about that control panel I'm proud of it speaking of obsessive likes Jill stop calling Armitage she'll keep, take you take care of your four, four ball just fine I'm not worried about him I'm worried about me I've never been away from four this long I don't know what I'll do he'll do just fine you did pretty well for at least 25 years before finishing this. Yes, but we're leaving. Oh, yeah, before I forget, I left you a box of condoms on the first drawer of the desk, jet, Gil. You what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever here, I want him to be ready. Oh, but just one condition. If you're going to fuck like rabbits, stay away from my room. I have too many pics of my Emoto there, and I don't want her their eyes soiled. Emo who? Little sister. Then just say little sister. Yeah, whatever. First stop, Panama. Right, so yeah, they were they were having a... She said that they would go on a, um, a trip somewhere afterwards. Fucking hell, they don't, like, they don't give you much time to read, do they? You fat-fingered the five key. <laughs> uh, I'll, dis I'll disown you any day, Spidey. Oh, thanks. I won't show you the last ending because we've just looked at it, but I'll show you the picture that we got for it. So, yeah, if you get evicted, that's what happens to Jill. Anything but a bad ending, I'd say. In fact, I'd say it's a, the best ending, right? 
Oh dear. Right. Um, guys. What I'm going to do... Uh, is I'm going to stop the stream and restart it. And then, uh, well, what's the time? It's 3 o'clock, basically. So, instead of um, two hours of uh, Dead Cells, I'm afraid you're going to get five. I know, there could be worse things, couldn't there? But yeah, uh, bear with me a sec. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute or two. <laughs> 